This week on Driving Television, we took six ordinary drivers and put them in six of the best-selling cars in Canada. And then we asked them to change their driving habits. They were instructed to drive the posted speed limit as smoothly as possible, avoid short trips when the engine was cold, refrain from idling the engine, and make sure their vehicle was properly maintained. After two weeks, only one car achieved the Transport Canada fuel ratings, the Ford Escape, and one beat them, the Volkswagen TDI. Now, I found the results very interesting. Off the top, we wanted to see just how close drivers could get to the actual posted numbers. But I was also looking at which car got closest to the posted numbers during the regular driving week, not the ultra-efficient driving week. And you know, Zach, what I found pretty amazing was the fact that all six of our drivers said they found it incredibly frustrating to actually drive the speed limit. I mean, it's interesting that they all had a problem doing that. Which shows you that the flow of traffic, I guess in most Canadian cities, is above the posted speed limit. So taking these tips and implementing them can cause a little bit of road rage. So it's definitely going to be, I think, a little bit of a compromise for some people. I mean, if you are going to implement all of these driving tips, it gets really frustrating not only on you as a driver, but the people around you. So you might have to pick and choose what you want to do and adapt it to your driving style. And when you want to do it. You know, one of our testers actually put it best. You know, if I drove like this all the time, I'd save a ton of money. Because it's so boring, I'd probably take transit instead. Driving Television is brought to you by driving.ca.